today is gonna be the day in the life of an energy specialist so you guys I'll take you guys with me so yeah So, I, uh, yeah, so I'm heading to the office and, uh, yeah, so today is just going to be a building audit and a data day. Uh, I'll walk you guys through what that looks like on a normal day to day. Uh, So yeah, that's what it's gonna be. Let me actually take you guys off the dash. But uh, yeah, today is just gonna be a data and a building audit day. I'll walk you guys through a building audit to let you know what a building audit or show you what a building audit looks like. Um, it's gonna be a, a mini vlog, a day in the life. Uh, yeah, I've been... Uh, well, it's summer now, so obviously kids are not in school, but with COVID, we still have obviously custodial staff, uh, teacher planning is still, are still, they, you know, they're still using the buildings. And um, yeah, so that's where we are. And at this juncture in time, but uh, I'm feeling okay this morning. I'll probably do another video uh, about you know what's been going on in my life it might help somebody else uh, who's going through the same thing or has and uh, you know how to focus your energy how to you know do things to live your best self and step into your potential so I'm sorry guys but uh, yeah it's just been a lot it's just been a lot uh, I don't even know what I was talking about before before I got a phone call but uh, yeah it's it's just been a lot and I'll do a video more on uh, you know basically where I am it's like I want to like do better provide more content definitely uh, so yeah so I will holler at y'all when I get to my office so peace what's good y'all so just got done with all my meetings and Done with all my meetings, and now we're about to head to audit these buildings. So, this lamp. It is so hot, yo. You can't. This is fucking. This is too goddamn much. I should. It should not be so damn hot that I'm up here having dreams about me being on fire. Everybody getting on my damn nerves. So goddamn hot. Shit. 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 Oh. Everybody's getting on my nerves. Everybody's kids is getting on my nerves. These niggas downstairs keep barbecuing every day of day. Every day of day. Every day can't be a holiday. Every day can't be a holiday. It's not a celebration. Who the hell paying for this damn meat? Mm, so hot. It is so hot. Oh. <sighs> so hot. All right, y'all. So uh, we're heading now to go audit buildings. Um, typically, what an audit entails, uh, it'll be a, it'll be an unoccupied audit today. <clears throat> for what uh, for most of all my buildings since it's summer and. Most of the time, typically unoccupied is when there's nobody in the building. One of these buildings, there is a tech, the technology department 
is using a media center so it'll kind of be an unoccupied but occupied audit so you get to see you know what we look for as energy specialists and what we what we find what we hear how we do an audit um yeah so that's <coughs> all what will be entailed uh, for the most part uh because i have a colleague we both handle one account uh because one account has like 34 buildings in it so we have to split obviously 18 and 17 buildings a piece but for the most part uh oh guys yeah, let me zoom out but yeah for the most part it's typically pretty easy you know we check also irrigation uh to make sure there's no we don't see any leaks on the field or you know make sure irrigation isn't running when it's not supposed to be uh -huh. But yeah, <coughs> that's what we uh, pretty much do. And of course, I'll take you guys along with me to actually show what what an audit looks like. So, yep. Alrighty, y'all. So, about to check. And. Hey. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So. So this is the 300 hallway uh, in one of my high schools. In one of my high schools. Um, typically there's nobody in here. This is obviously a summer. So this hallway is on due to the media center having to be on for the technology department, but everything else should be off. I'll see you bathroom light for all. Bathroom light is off. All the lights off, but this hallway is on for media center. And so basically what we check for is to make sure lights are off when they're not, you know, when they're not in use. Um, make sure HVAC is off. Like for example, you should hear it's complete silence. I mean, obviously besides my keys jingling, obviously, but. All right, y'all, so as you can see, uh, we just walked through a building to make sure um, that the building, parts of the building that were scheduled off were off. Um, I just showed you guys a little piece because I didn't want to, you know, film just in case. Ooh, 
Pardon y'all, y'all are sliding. Oops. Okay. Let me take y'all this way. <laughs> y'all, I'm trying to, I need to get a car mount for this, so my apologies. But um, this is, uh, as you can, or as you just saw in the previous clip, uh, we walked through the building to kind of see, or just to double check and make sure parts of the building that were off were, or were scheduled off are off and the parts that were scheduled on are on. Right now, there's no students in the building, obviously, because it's summer school. So where we're heading now is to double check um, the field house and double check the irrigation. So I'll show you guys, like, so that's of course tennis field, but, uh, and then there's the football field down that way in the baseball field so our job is to make sure irrigation is off when it's supposed to be like this is the dead of summer it should not be on this this time of day mainly because obviously in heat water evaporates evaporates so you don't want to run an irrigation system in the middle of the day because it's not gonna it's not gonna hit the grass any you typically are supposed to run it or they recommend it to run it in the morning so we're just making sure there's no leaks I see no leaks I see you know nothing nothing there's no damage or anything we need to report and as we can see the field house it is in use at the moment so yeah I'm not gonna go in there you know kind of stay you know social distancing if I can as much as I can but yeah we make sure nothing there's nothing out of the ordinary um but yeah so that's you know a little bit what we you know want to make sure of so that in retrospect is the life of the energy specialist so i we had to do data but i forgot to pick up pick up the camera so you know next video i'll probably show you or i'll definitely show you what type of data we look for for as kilowatt usage what systems we use such as like ecap we use as uh to kind of double check energy usage to make sure if everything aligns with the base here and i'll explain that in another video because that's a little bit more confusing or can be to a novice in energy management but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed that part of the vlog uh yeah because now y'all just gonna watch me or i'm gonna take y'all with me to run errands and do everything else so yeah i'll holler at y'all peace all right y'all so on into another building okay oh yeah So this is what an unoccupied school typically looks like. Everything should be off. So I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, so nothing but just return air, I believe. Uh, yeah. And then for example, making sure lights in the classroom are all outside of security lights computers are all so, yeah that's pretty much our job and then example let me block out the school district this is like a checklist um we typically do for some for like christmas summer and like any type of setback so oops, not drop that. so you know the teachers and the staff 
and other staff members a um And this is not all. So, we do components here. So yeah, so we have this thing that's called faults. Uh, so like if, for example, counselor suite, uh, thermostat left on, turned off, turn the light off. So yeah, so that's pretty much what we do. So I'm just double checking, make sure I don't hear anything down this hallway. Did you hear anything? Nope, don't hear anything. Don't see anything. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much where we are. So this section of the building or this building typically does really really good as far as setbacks turning everything off it's just you know you have some locations that have uh, um, their own thermostat sometimes teachers teachers are forget to turn stuff off so yeah so that's where we go so i hope this provides a little bit of insight on you know what it means to be an energy specialist so yeah, I'll see you guys on Exempar.